So good day all and welcome to the South African lawn. So I'm on my way, well I'm going to leave right now and I'm not 100% sure what to expect but I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, so I'm refueled and uh, ready for today. I'm going to the professional lawn equipment today. I'm super, super excited. About an hour away, an hour's drive away. So I'm just refueling my body, refueled my car already. And then I'll be ready to go. I think the lady here probably has got a crush on me. She hoid a heart on top of my arm oh, since I broke my lid. Quite a heart on top of my cappuccino, but it's just below that thing there. Super excited. Super excited for my heart and for today, obviously. Anyway. Yo, soy brand. Come on. So before we go any further through this video, um, I just want to explain to you uh, what happened. Okay, so first things first, a uh, professional invited me to go to their factory um, to go and see what things are like and so on. I didn't know what to expect, um, so I just went there and this video doesn't really have a certain thing that it's going to lead to. Um, so basically we did a walk through the factory and as I saw something interesting, I asked and they explained so that's why it's not a real process of taking you through start to finish uh, through the mowers uh, but I touched on a couple of interesting points on the different mowers and so on so um, I'm sure you're gonna find that interesting another thing is I did a video with the management staff and the owners of professional and I forgot to press record um, so I haven't got that video so sorry to the guys there uh, for wasting your time on that video um, but just imagine they're standing here um, so guys thank you so much for having me here at your factory I'm really stoked um, I, it was really enjoyable and yeah sorry So I've just been explaining as well here um, that, they, that they flatten the, the, the wheels up completely so all four wheels actually align onto the ground so when you push it or when you when you let it roll the mower actually doesn't sway the horse into a certain direction which is quite interesting and that's just the whole reason why I've always praised the mission um, is for the quality um, machines that they built. So we'll get to the, to the real mowers right now but um, Honestly, everything that they do is just based on quality and um, user satisfaction. Okay, so here we've got a, a rotary deck. Is that the high back one, right? Eh? A uh, high back deck, yeah. Um, the one that's legendary with uh, with those arrows right there that everyone knows. Um, so these are freshly painted and ready to be assembled. Um, as you can see the guys right there assembling these mowers and then uh, after that step they're being shipped out to all the all the dealers. Okay so guys um, we've got Guy Williams here um, and he's, he's He's a small, I don't want to say, he's 
not small, but he's <laughs> okay. He's a touch overweight. He's standing on a hey, on a grass <laughs> box, yeah. Cheapest. Only 120 kilograms. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. That's that's quite a test. Okay, Bruce. Just quickly explain to us the why it is so important to have a stick of steel um, in like your high back mower, like the one that you got down. It's basically for your impact with stones, okay, and whatever else might be lying around the world. So the industry standard is about 1.6, and we use a two mole steel, yeah, and it basically doubles in strength for every 0 0.2 mole of okay. chassis efficiency. Yeah. So having two moles makes a massive difference for your mower. Yeah, yeah. So you're going to be mowing. So it's about like twice as about three times as strong as. The, the industry standard outfit. Um, so it just lasts a lot longer, it's a little bit heavier, better quality cut, much longer lifespan. Yeah. So guys, these are these are basically uh, what they've explained to me now. The more commercial um, garden service guys using these machines. So if you're looking for something strong um, and durable, you might consider going for something like this. Um, so what he's explaining here exactly what he says they reinforce it there at the rear uh, because the guys are pulling it off trailers and whatnot and it's bouncing on the floor um, so they reinforce the chassis there okay so Bruce uh, we, where are we now I uh, know we in the the professional and Rolex factory here but what what, are, what am I looking at here this is basically all of our bulk stores so it's chassis, it's in yeah. uh, glass boxes chain covers motors Luncheon engines, Briggs engines, Honda engines. Okay, so what are those Hondas? Honda those are Briggs, I can see it on the box. What are those 196 there at the back? That's all luncheon, oh, okay. vertical engines, then behind that's luncheon, okay. horizontal, because Yamaha. Oh, right, yeah, okay. Yeah. Behind these Honda engines are the GX160s and okay. GX160 horizontal. And am I right by saying that um, any of these engines really, okay, Besides the fact that some of them are horizontal and some of them are vertical, um, can be fitted to most of the. Like if you, if you were to take a, a cylinder mower, you can choose whatever engine you want on it. And uh, the distributor will be able to order that from the factory. Custom for your convenience. Okay, guys, now we get to the more serious stuff, the, the real mowers, cylinder mowers, stuff that gets us all emotional, uh, you know, and um, it's worth noticing in this factory that every single thing is handmade right here, uh, from the steel, everything but the engine, um, so there's a couple of different engines that you can put on mowers, uh, but from the uh, rear rollers, everything that you see on these mowers, is handmade in this factory. Absolutely astonishing. And the passion that they've got for building these, especially the cinema mowers, are just incredible. Incredible, I tell you. Right, guys, so here we've got the, the whole setup of templates and presses and formings and whatever. I just explain to us quickly. Um, so everything starts off as, a, as raw material here, like raw steel, and everything is manufactured by hand. Um, to create your dream room, but mm -hmm. so my wife was saying these are the presses and, and yeah, they're all the tools. So okay. It all starts the flat piece, piece of steel and yeah. then develops from there. Okay, like I said, here you've got it. All starts off as, as raw materials and then they use these tools to create your dream lawn mower. So guys, this is where your deck is being made. Um, it's only a, like a tiny press, you know. Only 500 tons of, uh, of pressed force onto this deck of yours to perfectly shape it. Uh, so they don't have to weld it. So it's so much stronger. It lasts 40, 50 years. Okay, hold on guys, my legs are getting wobbly. So um, I'm taking the, the factory train. Yeah. To wherever we 
we going? Elevated up so. But I can show you what's going on here. Unbelievable. Factory tour. How are you all down there? Having a great time up here, eh? Yes, yeah, I bought a, I bought a month a month ticket uh, for for the train ride, um, so I'm all covered. I just love the vibe here, my man. You work in a you work in a great place, yeah. Honestly, we need more factories like this in South Africa. Yes, where the the vibe is lacking. When you walk in here, you feel positive. Check out our personal Uber driver. Our high lift Uber driver. How's it? How's it? Smile, 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 smile. Yeah. <laughs> and they, yes, those agents they talking about yeah. hundreds and hundreds of them. Hundreds and hundreds. And in she goes. You feel that vibe. Okay, so here's the actual real assembly. What size is this? 25? 25. 25 inch reel. Okay, so there you go. It's got that center bar running through there. And then all your blades are being welded into those grooves. Sorry, my man. And then uh, at the end it looks something like this. So here's the finished product. Am I right by saying these are all welded up, ready to be used or to go out for paint? Harden. Harden? Okay, so there you've got it. From here on, getting out to go hardened and then painted and then sharpened for the assembly of your real mower. Okay, so they start off all as flat pieces of steel and then they're being bent and curved. So first bend is like a, just like a straight angle like this off. Um, like that, being bent like that, doing, doing it, right there. And then it's being bent to another angle as well, that's now the finished product. Finished. Bang on. Yes, yeah, so I've just been told you, and um, that the actual reel, when it's being hardened, it uh, warps, uh, normally warps to the side. And then what they do here is they bend that reel back straight, so it actually becomes the perfect cylinder again. And then only it's ready for sharpening or grinding, sharpening of the blade. with the raw piece of steel there works its way through a bent piece of steel then being transformed into a drum to actually catch your clipping and then here just being made nice ready for fun oh grass catches in the dozens in the dozens ready to pull your dustbin okay so here's some freshly painted rollers and also uh, well, the smooth rollers there, and then also the, the spike rollers, as you've seen in my renovation videos.
Okay, let's so get, let's get it this way. So there's a piece of cork okay. between the clutch and the sprocket. So as you pull the clutch, clutch lever. lever, it's going to pull the sprocket towards the fork, okay. which engages your rear roller. Okay, okay, the drive this, of this. This, when it spins, engages the... Um, yes. When that, when that spins, it engages your... Your reel. Uh, yeah, your reel. The blade, yeah. So obviously the, the highest, the speed, yeah. when it's at high speed, it yeah. opens up that clutch shoe. Yes. Yeah, okay. but as you pull the clutch, it engages. That will drive off the real, the rear roller. Okay. Gives you yourself the Yeah. Look how beautiful they are. Something to look at, honestly. I we just had a chuckle here now about saying that um, you can put this thing in your house as an ornament and it wouldn't be a sore eye, you know. Um, another interesting thing that we just spoke about now, these cylinder mowers have been built from 1960-something here in South Africa and they reckon that every single cylinder mower built by a professional can still be repaired today. Even if it's like 50 years old. 50 years! That's a long time, guys. And that just speaks for the design of this thing, honestly. Um, so they've just changed so little that they can really repair it still today. Amazing. The only thing that really comes and goes, they say, is the, the engines on the mowers. Um, you know, getting more environmentally friendly and all these type of things. But just look there, guys. Those are lawns in the making. Lawns in the making. Stripes, I see them. So right here we've got the finished product in the box. So like when you buy one, this is this is what you see. And then obviously your description right here. 20 inch Lancer motor. What a what a what a. Hey guys, these are this is fashion. This is this is a team right here. Hey, well done, guys! Awesome stuff. So, why is my car standing in the door of the factory? 